Welcome, 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 everybody, to another great edition of Green Arrow Media Podcast. Green Arrow Podcast. Thank you to uh, Dull Shade for did it to myself. Our official, uh, what you call it, uh, theme song for um, Green Arrow Podcast. Now, as always, I'm joined with. Uh, the three horsemen of the assholeness. We have Joshua Roblock next to me. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. Uh, we have Big Tony Two Tons of Dick over there. Hey, it's Tony Bag of Dicks, and don't you get it wrong. And we got the bun over there. What's up, Isaiah? You. And uh, <laughs> for today's podcast, gentlemen, uh, we are talking about our favorite Call of Duty maps, both in multiplayer and uh, in zombies. Cheers. Um, you know, we're uh, obviously continuing our uh, game November month. I don't know what we're going to get. Game November? What, what are we going to call this? Like, well, I mean, it's... Essentially, we, we can call it Call of Duty because we're basically doing like three things for Call of Duty. We should just call this No Nut November because when you're playing a game, you're not catching a nut. <laughs> uh, have you... Have anybody played a game with you? No. So, yeah, we have. <laughs> we know that's not true. Who failed no no- November yet? High five. You failed it? I failed it. I failed it the first day with your sister. I failed it 12.01 oh. p- a.m. November 1st. I was good. Worse? Yep. <laughs> I have no... Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, let's start it off. I mean, we'll start off with, uh, uh, as always, we'll go to the fat boy in the corner over there, Ant. Woo! We'll start off with you. What are your top three? We'll do two top three copy that uh, multiplayer maps I can't okay get that word out properly multi multiplayer multi- multiplayer 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 doesn't matter whatever so my top three and this is no particular order. these are the, the three no that particular order these are just the three that come to mind when i think multiplayer map call of duty these are the ones i had the most fun on they're just my favorites one of them is hangar 18 that was a call of duty black ops dlc map um, if you remember, Bla- uh, Hangar 18 was the one set at Area 51 and had the SR-71 Blackbird mm-hmm. right in the middle of it. And there was an alien autopsy room. There was another room like with a giant magnetron thing in it. And you fired yeah. a gun and it ricocheted. It was very weird. It was a great fucking map. Mm. Uh, my second, my next one is Hijack from Black Ops 2. And that, map. That's the one that was on the boat. Oh, it is the boat. Yeah. It's the original the version boat, of the yeah. boat. It's not on yeah. a boat. It is the boat. It is the yeah. boat. Let me drive the boat. That was the original version. Yeah. Well, do, you I think a, do you own a boat? It was Let a me yacht. Drive a boat. I think it was a yacht. <laughs> it was a yacht. Yeah, it was a yacht. Yeah. I love that map. I love the fact that you could like it was narrow on the sides. It was close quarter combat, but it was still long enough for you can lob like grenades and shit over. You know it's what not they like- should do? They should make a Call of Duty map on the Titanic. And as the the time goes. Crash into the iceberg. And Too soon, man. Too soon. No, nah, no. Nah, they should, though. They should <laughs> it's do been that. 115 years. And then, you know, when the timer hits zero, that's it. You know, we're down, you know. The the map changes as it goes, you know. There was no war being fought at that time. <laughs> but they should, though. They should make it. So the winner, like the, fi- the final animation is the winner gets into the lifeboats and everyone else just gets sucked into the yeah, water. Yeah, like wow. half man. of the map, you know, the boat is just sitting at a certain angle, which is going down. It would be a good idea to always keep you on your toes. Like, all of a sudden, you're sitting there, and all of a sudden, like it starts getting red. It stops C- campers because the campers be like, oh shit, we got to move because it's the flooded. boat is going to turn half. <laughs> uh, okay. ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I do not associate with these guys. I'm only here for the podcast. Okay. They, they, they do not. They do not express any uh, type of, of views that the Green Arrow Media has, has seen. Rest in peace to all the people. Shout who died out to Jack. What? Should, oh my God! What's right, the last? Yeah, map? Please tell my me last. Map, please. <laughs> Shout out Rose. My, wow. Okay, my last one is from Black Ops as well, and it is called Hazard. It was from the Annihilation DLC I hated map. That fucking map. And that's no, a, you and DLCs, man. I'm, I, they, Nobody they could good. afford those. <laughs> Back in that day, I had no job. Like I couldn't. Neither did well, I. Still afford it. Just them. got the base game. That's it. No extra shit. No. Well, Hazard was a remake of Cliffside from World at War, except in Cliffside was a good map. See, it's the same map except it's set at a golf course, and that was fun because you had B right in the center of I two sniper map. lanes. It was wide sniper. Oh, when you play um, domination. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But see, can can you believe that shit though, Josh? We play with him most than mostly than anybody, and his favorite fucking map is a sniper map, and he sucks at sniping. Yeah, 
I know. It's true. I'm Cliffside a- was a good sniper map, but in World of War. That was a good map to snipe. Well, it was a good map to snipe in Black Ops. Too, because it was, it was the called, same shit. Yeah, it was just called Hydra. You fucking a suck hazard. at sniping. I do. I fucking blow. But I love that map. It was fun. <sighs> all right, Joshua. Oh, my turn? Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So for my maps, uh, the first one's going to be a little bit weird because I know I said I don't like Call of Duty Ghost in a previous podcast, but there is one map I liked on it. Uh, I liked on it because it was like the perfect map to practice your sniping because... It, it was just sniper fire the entire time like it was the legit sniper map and it was called Stonehaven it was actually oh, right around like an old uh, Scottish Ireland yeah, yeah, type yeah. Um, I never played it that was game. the castle yeah yeah castle it was no, all hated, outside and there was only a little bit of the yeah. edge of the castle that you yeah, could play I, I, never I, I hated ghost, that so map because if you was to fall outside the castle or you're just in like this weird area you had to like walk around to yeah. get like through the entrance yeah, or yeah, you yeah. know you find like the broken part of it or some shit but I hated that map just because you'll get you have to run and then you're yeah, yeah, yeah. sitting See, to duck. me what I'm looking at this picture right now it looks like prison in the in the Verdane's map it looks like uh, um, it, it could. Uh, yeah. it's similar to that that's basically that's essentially what it is but yeah. the map was like you know like some kind of Irish or like Scottish old like castle that it was there in all the of. action was in the castle yeah no no that was half of it the, the rest of the action was outside that's where everyone was sniping yeah, everybody was running so to much, get in. Yeah, yeah. There was so, there was so much up and down in that map. That yeah, it was yeah. Just, it was no, ridiculous. it was. That was a good map. You could do long range or like medium range. Like that was a perfect map. What for was it. that map in Ghost where it they had the tree thing where you could knock down the tree and it kind of acted like a bridge and you could run across the bridge. I know which one you're talking about. There's a map the like that yeah. where there was like a gap yeah. and you could knock down the tree and the tree will, you know, clear yeah, that yeah. gap and you could run across. I know what you're talking about. I don't remember the name of that one. I didn't play too much of Ghost. I wasn't really too particularly happy with it. And I only played the uh, multiplayer for a little bit, which is why I actually picked Stonehaven because I remember that. I think as... Ghost was that map when they was launching it. They were talking about how like the fish AI was like, it was like the... Hi, oh, Teresa. shit. Yeah, Teresa, yeah. <laughs> I saw her reflection off the glass. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, so my first one is going to be Stonehaven, like I said. It was the, it was like one of the most perfect sniper maps. And it wasn't one of those ones where you can find a lot of cover. It's like you had to get to a hill, which was, there was like seven of them in the in the map. And just you can snipe people if they were walking out in the open. So that's the first one. Uh, my second one, actually... It's like two reasons. One, it was a good map to me because it was big enough where it was a lot of mix-up. You could do uh, a small of night, small amount of sniping. Where what map? I, I'm gonna say it. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, oh. I haven't said it yet. He's building to it. <laughs> Started talking about sniping. I'm like, what are we talking it, about? Because uh, the map, the way it was shaped, you could do a small amount of sniping. It was basically more of mid range and close range, depending on what part of the map you're on. Right. Now, it was Modern Warfare Two. And it was favela, right? No, yeah, I could see. Yeah, it was yeah. all that up and down. And if you got on the rooftops, you right. could do a little bit of sniping or just like a quick. You had that one street assault. where it's like coming down. Yeah, it was coming down. And then um, you had the barber shop. The barber shop was a hot spot. Yeah, that's where. Yeah, like went. whoever yeah. had that barber shop was they was getting the kill. Yeah, yeah, there. it was like cre- uh, uh, attention to detail was just phenomenal because if you looked up it was actually right where that big giant jesus statue is yeah it's off in the on. distance yeah. yeah you can see that and stuff like that like that one was definitely my favorite that for me was one of the best maps for another reason as well me and my cousin when he got me into modern warfare 2 because i stopped playing uh, call of duty for a little bit in modern warfare 2 if you went into a second side of the settings or the lobby or something like that you could play in third person mode that familiar map you with third person mode was the shit. <laughs> no, but I thought No, in Modern Warfare 2 was the only one to do it. To do third person. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you yeah, can yeah. do multiplayer like and regular person. first person, but you can actually go into another lobby that was third person mode. I remember so you that. saw your whole character. Yeah, you while saw you're the whole thing. Oh my god. That was the best map for that third person. Yeah. Me and my cousin played that day in, day out. I think I got to like the last prestige. Dude, can we talk about just how playing on that map because of all that third person? <laughs> Modern Warfare, the UMP forty five was 
crazy. Oh, it was broken. It was broken. It was Every single Modern stupid. Warfare was broken. Yeah. Like, Every single Modern If you had the right attachments. Silence. I think it was a silence extended mag. Some shit. Yeah, if you put silence. Stock. A silencer, extended mag, and I think you needed like a stock or a hand grip to control grip, the recoil. Right, right, right. You were almost unstoppable. That's it. It, yeah, it, that it really was did. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. So that's my second one for the multiplayer. And then my last one is actually going to be from Black Ops, or at least the original, because I'm looking at a variation from a different one. Uh, the first one was actually Firing Range. I'm going to come. Great map. Sorry. Firing Range? Sorry. Why? I don't know. Why? The, Why thought, during my segment did you have to fucking say that? Because you got me excited. I love that map. It's a great I'm map. Fucking Tell me he's going to come. I didn't even touch him yet. <laughs> it's a great map. Fire so range. the map was firing range. Yes, I loved how there were subtle little dynamics in it, like the moving actual targets. If you shot them, they spin around, all that type of stuff. Mixed emotions about firing range. <laughs> Why do you have mixed emotions? Because it was like, it was too like spotty. Like if you held down a spot, yeah. if you didn't have that spot, you were a sitting duck, you know? Oh, yeah. They yeah, had yeah. the two. Um, well, they had inside that trailer. Yeah. Then they had the tower where yes. they were doing like the construction at. Yeah. Then they had that weird one in the middle with the two uh, cargo doors opened up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, where you had to go upstairs and like you could see it was like a kind of like. Yeah, a, yeah, 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 yeah. The second so, floor it was open on both yeah, sides. It was open on both sides. So it was like you're fighting the whole time to get into one of those spots. It yeah. was like, I was kind of like the back half of the map where all those tires were at. Oh, yeah, I kind of yeah, yeah. stood around yeah, there. Yeah, that was like, technically like the bottom back of the map. Yeah, yeah there was a shed back yeah. there, wasn't there? Yeah, it was like the yeah, actual... It was like shed. a car, yeah. a whole bunch of like tires. That, that was the actual firing range part yeah, where yeah, it started, yeah. and then it went up into the area into where... Into some bullshit, and yeah. then it had an old trailer in the back and everything. So yeah, We yeah, played yeah. some of our best games on fucking... On that map. Oh, yeah. That fire range was, was a good map. Fire range is a great yeah, It was definitely a good map. I like uh yeah so that's it for me at least for multiplayer for right now uh who's next isaiah okay so my first one probably i'll probably start with my most favorite was um if you played world at war you know what i'm talking about making day they did it both in the day and they came out with making day at night i think making day at night was a dlc Mm. but basically it was who played it? Am I the only one? I, I played it, but it's been so Damn. long that I can't. I can't. I know. Nobody I did. played World at War. I no, started, I did because I played the zombies. I, I, I got. I, I got into Call of Duty at Black Ops. Black Ops One. Yeah. You fucking fag. I got into <laughs> Call of Duty okay. at Call of Duty Three when Reznov was first introduced. And then I just started playing the Modern Warfare uh, series, and that's really about it. Call of Duty Three was a shit. No multiplayer. No, they did have multiplayer. My bad. Yeah, well, the war that yeah, war yeah. started the multiplayer. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, Call of Duty Three had some had something. Yeah, or I think they they it relaunched wasn't. it or some shit. Oh yeah, they might. I have did not it. play any of those games. Yeah. Call of Duty Three was the shit, but uh, World at War. Yeah, Making Day. They did it. Uh, the original map was in the daytime, and there was this one tower where. If you held down that tower and you had a sniper, you was basically winning. But the whole thing is, that tower is probably like, probably like an eight by eight little room. And that one ladder goes up. So you basically had to fight off anybody trying to climb up the ladder and trying to snipe and get all the kills from that one tower. And that was the highest point of the map. Like nothing else was that level of the map. So it was either you was in that tower or... You was uh, losing. Wait, you um, measured that room? It was 8 by 8 Yeah, I'm guessing 8 by 8 I wouldn't say... There we go. Did you walk in there with your, with, with your little, you know... I counted by tape? the by the steps I took with the with the character. You put one toe-to-toe, right? Toe-to-heel? Right, toe-to-heel <laughs> to the one corner to the other corner. Probably 8 by 8 Wait, Six. was that the same map that was based... Uh, that the zo- Nazi zombie mom... Uh, Nazi zombie mode based off one of the maps where it was in like a Vietnam jungle or something like that it was similar to that one wasn't it I don't it? think so Shinonuma was the one that was the Vietnam jungle yeah isn't that like technically the you same see, map you have the pictures yeah cause I'm looking at some of them I think it looks similar to the one you're talking about unless I'm looking at the wrong pictures uh, right here. it looks pretty similar Oh no, I play that. No, no. no. Um, it looks really similar though because yeah, okay. it was like the same timeline, I guess. It means swamp of death. But making day was the shit. Um, trying to keep this in order. Uh, oh, Call of Duty Four, bog. Bog, nope. bog, 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 bog with the tank. 
and it had the field with the buses in there. So you're doing old school maps. You're I do what? Old school maps. What? Yeah, I didn't play them. And you no. guys smoking dick, yo. Oh my god. What the fuck? I'm, everybody's <laughs> older than me here. Nobody play these fucking maps. I don't think my dealer sells dick. <laughs> fuck. Okay, first of all, you. bog. Don't, don't listen to him. I know what? which one you're talking about. I'm looking. Bog. At it right it had now. the field. It had the field. There was a tank in it. Yeah. Um, depending on where you I spawned. I didn't play those games. There that was field like was a, like really. There was a highway behind you, like a highway right, bridge behind right. you. If you that spawned, field was yeah, like really fucked up, so it had like a lot of hills. Yeah. Like a lot of like. Right trenches and yeah, shit Yeah, I'm looking like at it right yeah, now. Yeah, just, it had I that bus in the it. middle. Yeah, yeah. Giant and it had bus. like a random tank in the field and shit. Yeah, exactly. I know But that if one. you yeah. was to go off to the that side. That was the original, yeah. Right, if you was to go off to the side, there was like a market to the side. Yeah, to the left side. it was side. like close quarters in there. Yeah, So was. the reason why I like this because the field you could have the rocket launcher, whatever the sniper yeah. rifle. You could yeah. get kills. That's one of those. If you just maps. into close quarters, you'll run straight for like the market. Yeah, yeah. And you'll grab all your kills there, or whatever the case may be. But yeah, that's one of those maps where it was a bit of a perfect mix. Because I think if you were on the side where the highway bridge was, right. If you got on top of like one of the cars, you could actually snipe across the map. <laughs> yeah, you could. Yeah. So it was like if you was on like you made your way on the bus with the tank or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Like that was a good spot, and if yeah. you held it down. You're gonna get like rack up a whole bunch of kills there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, because I'm looking at the map, I'm like, that sounded familiar, but I couldn't remember. Yeah, or if like, you yeah, was a beast, you, you know, you go to like the close quarter section towards the market, yeah. and you could fuck shit up over there. That's yeah. why, like, making day, like, if you had a perfect class setup, like in making day, yeah, you had the sniper, you had the claymores. Well, it was called the bouncing betties. Oh yeah, the um, bouncing betties back then. Yeah, but you used to bypass it by just going to prone. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you're you're good. But if you're climbing the ladder going up making day, there's no way you're gonna get out. Of that that's it you're done yeah but yeah bog was a good map if you had a nice class setup or if you just want to do close quarters you make your way to the market that was good and hopefully everybody knows this one the fuck uh estate mortal warfare 2 yes with the mansion on the hill yep or what was it like a it's not really a mansion it was like a like a fancy cabin type shit i think it's called an estate yeah, in a state. <laughs> but yeah, that match. That's just my good. guess. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah. I hate him. I okay, really, I never. Okay, I played Modern Warfare. I played all the Modern Warfare's, but I don't think I started playing multiplayer in earnest until Black Ops. So. Yeah. No, so I don't Black fucking know. Ops? Yeah. Look, the only the only smoking dick. The only one I played. He doesn't sell it anymore. I told you this. <laughs> yeah. So I'm looking at. It. I know which one you're talking. I about. I low key remember that because I do remember playing Modern Warfare. I high key don't remember it. But it's, at the same time, know. yeah. What, you I don't, don't think... remember a state? No, no. I'm looking at the map. I try to remember. It's been so long since I played them. So it's yeah. like I remember that one because that one was the entire hill fucking area. That right. was the whole map, and there the was hill. one house. Yeah, at the, the top going up to the to the house. Yeah. Yeah. So the house There was a parked car That can explode yeah, I'm looking at it You can either shoot From people coming up To the house Or you can yeah, shoot at yeah. people That's already in the house Yeah 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 there Or you can be in the house. backyard there, like, was a, there was a greenhouse Behind it too There was the like, greenhouse this is yeah, behind I low key those. remember Playing that map Yeah this one was definitely That cool. map the UN, if you had the UMP forty five, oh yeah, that and was you probably those. had, um, you know, the two primaries. Like if you was carrying around, probably like a, like another assault rifle or some shit. Yeah, you would something you could get long range with. Yeah, yeah, you're dominating. You know, so that map was a good map, really uh, intense. But yeah, making day, the state, and bog. Those are uh, good choices. So now that I'm thinking about them, yeah. For yeah. mine, I have two that are fairly new. Well, a swag. Two that are fairly old, uh, but I agree with you. My first one is Firing Range. I think fi I thought Firing Range was a fantastic player's map, and it could just you knew once you got the hold of that map and know where the fuck to do to go, you could just run it. I had one of my best games ever playing on Firing Range. Yeah, and then they revamped it for, I think it was, uh... No, yeah, they it? brought it back. Yeah. Black Ops 4, was it, or 3? I uh, think it was 4. I think that it was, was 1 of them. 3. Yeah, it was 3 or 4. They brought it back, yeah. Um, my second one is one that's on the new game, Modern Warfare, and it's Shoot House. I love Shoot, Shoot House. You're a fag. 
I, I love shoot, shoot house so shoot much. Which, but think of it like shooting range and shoot house are both the same map. Not like the layout, but just it's the same exact idea. It's a shooting map. It's a shooting gallery. Right. Okay. The entire yeah. game is shooting. But no, shoot but I mean like it's built, a sh- literally a shooting gallery. Shoot house is built retarded. Ew. How? Because they have like that, like the middle thing, Corridor. like where you could. Sit on top of the barrels and see yeah, over the wall. Straight sniping. Okay, sure. that's not really a spot. Like, there's that no sniping there. You're gonna get flanked from the left, the right, from behind. Well, if, the if you're good flip, and you listen, you, you don't. You, you don't get flanked. I think, there's, I think there's potential for being flanked in any game, but in nah, shoot house, no, no, in shoot house, it's a little obnoxious because you can sit there and wait if well, no, no one that's, shows that's up. That's the thing, though. That it's, it's a, that's a, yeah, that's the thing. You. If you go and snipe on that map, you are going to have that potential no matter what. Because one, it's if you sniped on shoe house. Yes, I have sniped on shoot house. And I've got. Did you I, just say if I snipe on shoe house, you would dominate? I've dominated sniping on shoot house. Before. You have. No, you can't dominate just sniping. There's sniping no sniping on shoe house. Because no. a lot, of t- most of the time, I will, if, if we no will one, play that tonight, and I will show you. I'm just saying, if nobody wants to jump on the other end and try to snipe with you, you're not you're not dominating because the the people who run across the middle are too fast, and unless they uh, spawn, no, you could go up into the uh, you can go up into that little place on top the house on top you could snipe from the windows there yeah i understand that's the windows one. that's looking down to the shipping containers yeah. yes you could snipe all right there. you could get hit from the right or you could get hit from the left behind you that door people are storing grenades take it window. back now y'all you can Ooh. get it look in it's any move you can get flanked yes but it's a little bit more common to be flanked on shoot house than i think there is on other maps that are designed for sniping not unless you know Nah, man. Okay, so you're if gonna you're going to take if, an L on that one. No, nah, I'm not going to take an L. You can sit there and think you, I'm taking an L, but I'm not. Because you, if you know how to Fire set up your, your shit correctly, you're not getting flanked in that house. It could. You know what? You might be right. Yeah. Because if you set up a couple of either claymores or... or the, prox mines or uh, something. Proxy mines, yeah. Yeah, one of those on the right door. To, you don't have to worry about that. And on the left door, you see the people coming up the stairs anyway. And if you hear people coming up the stairs, you just fucking kill Claymores them. Claymores don't work in in that game. They're not as good as they were in Black Ops. <laughs> yeah, Claymores don't work in that game. Again, I will stick by what I'm saying. And okay. if you're just a running mines, gun like I am... Yeah, the, I thought you was a sniper. What happened? I'm I'm mostly a running gun, but I know how running to snipe gun? better than he does. What's your best sub in the Everyone game? knows how to snipe better than me. I'm not saying I'm the best sniper in the world. What's the best, uh, what's I the best sub? I suck. No, no. I just use the... I, ju- I, just use the uh, um, I like being a sub. Shut up. Okay. I love using... Um, Shit, what's that one? The one, the first gun you get. Kilo? Yeah. Yeah, the kilos, though. The kilo, and you run with that, and I'll oh, be yeah. honest, I do my, I do my, uh, most of my damage with pistols. Okay. That's true, he does. He's one of those Pistols guys. and, um... I talked about this not so long ago. Yeah. You know. World of War Two. They were broken. Huh? World of War II, broken. They were broken. There was another my one, too. They were broken. One is a remastered one for this one. I enjoy and love playing on Rust. Rust is the shit. Rust is a great map. That's why they brought it back for this one. It's fantastic. That's old school. That's a lot of memories. A lot of memories on Rust. If you had a problem, we played there. (laughs) Talking shit. I think the Modern Warfare 2, the multiplayer lobbies, that's what made you a man because everybody would curse you the fuck out. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. When you join in the game like, like, like who the fuck showed up this faggot <laughs> I, I, his mom sucked my dick two weeks ago and <laughs> just started oh talking shit yeah yeah Yo, that, the, the amount of I shit think, talk yeah especially even on Xbox that's what surprised me the most the amount of like 14 year old anywhere from like 10 to 14 year old kids who are just white little brats who are just sitting there saying the n-word left and right yeah saying i banged your mom and stuff like that i'm like excuse me modern warfare was was a tough time do you know how you combat kids who are like oh i fucked your mom you say yeah so did i it fucks them up (laughs) whoa They don't know what they they don't know how to respond at that point. It's one of the best things in the world. You oh, just good night, everybody. You just, <laughs> just hit them. 
just hit them with something even more fucked up. It's perfect. I mean, you're right, I guess. <laughs> All right, so um, now that we get that out of the way. Like, hey, do you eat your mother's pussy with that mouth? Shut up. You watch your language. <laughs> now that we got that out of the fucking way, thank God. <laughs> um, next, we're just going to do uh, two, two, I believe it was, two zombie maps. Zombos. And what are your favorite top two zombie maps? Yeah. Go first. Yes. I was like, that's going to be and hard Tony. for me. Yeah. Well, my my top two is, my top two, the first one I'm going to I'm gonna call out is the map Ascension. Which the I rocket? Be- yes. It had the rocket. It was a Russian cosmonaut or cosmodrome, whatever it was. It was a map where evil space monkeys took the place of hellhounds, which I thought was hysterical. <laughs> yeah, that show was funny. It had teleporters. It had moving pads. It had rockets. That was that you- a week ago. So it's, water's good. Uh, oh, oh my god! Uh, <laughs> it had everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 he likes that. Uh, Sorry, do you, do you water your partner? <laughs> I quit. Anyway. Uh, Shout out to hydration. You are now the general partner. <laughs> oh god, Shout no. Out hydration. Anyway, Ascension was great, and and it was it was a fun map to play. And the reason I pick it is because my best night of. Um, playing Call of Duty Zombies was with Joshua and our friend Philip and I think Josh's was one of your friends and we hit like level 60 and of course zombies never end and we would just constantly be running around the one little uh, launch pad with and we all had fucking ray guns and we were just icing the zombies and it was just a lot of fun. It's a fun map, it's a lot of weird places, it's goofy and I love the space monkeys so that's my, that's my first one. That's a good pick. And the second one is Call of the Dead, also from Black Ops. And that one I love because that one I made my bitch. Like, that was the first zombie map where I played where I'm like, I know how to do the Easter egg by myself for the most part. I knew the ins and outs of that map. I knew exactly how to spend my money to maximize, like, the map as far as, like, get the best guns and stuff. And like, like I would make sure, like my little area of just domination would be that um, the area at the lighthouse. So I'd open up all the doors, the ship, zip line down, and then uh, you know you keep hitting George Romero with his like infinite a- HP till he fucks off and you get the the wonder gun, and then you just reign supreme. Like that was the only map that I could probably go level forty or fifty by myself. Maybe 50 is too much, but I could probably hit late 30s, early 40s by myself. And that's one of the, and not to mention it had an event sevenfold song for e, for an Easter egg. It had the, the cast of characters of Robert Unglin and Danny Trejo, Sarah Michelle Geller, and uh, Michael Roker. It was a fun map and it was a great layout and I just love it. There you go. And George Romero is a giant zombie. I mean, who can't love that? And now he is a zombie. He's dead. Fuck you. Rest in peace, George Romero. Brody. All right. Well, on to that note, I'm probably going to do better than him, hopefully. <laughs> so, uh, if Dude, we're going to go... dog can do better than him. Yeah, I know. If we're going to do... Fuck me. Oh, Jesus. Why'd you do no, that? No, thank you. And watch your S's. Yes, please. I did it on purpose. I know to watch S's. Go fuck yourself then. <laughs> <laughs> so my number one map, if we're only going to do two, my number one map is Derice, no matter what. Yes. I don't care what anyone says. That map, even from when I started at World at War, I did my best on that map, no matter what. I don't know what it was about that map that turned me into like a competitive strict asshole. <laughs> well, that was the first map that you like. I never played Zombies or Call of Duty ever, and when I first like hanging out with you, you're like, dude, this is it. And I'm like, I want to play because I didn't know any controls. I think I cursed you the fuck out you so cursed much me that the night, out and I just watched you play. Like <laughs> we were both playing technically, but I just watched you play for a good hour. <laughs> I was showing him the ropes, how to uh, sit there and get the zombies to train the way you want them to, and what stuff map like was that. that. I didn't hear. Derice, Derice, the one, Durice. the first, uh, the first one with the big teleporters. Oh, oh, yeah, remember yeah, we yeah, mentioned yeah, it uh, yeah, last yeah. week. That the was giant. Oh, 
Yeah. Sure. No, not but that the, one. You actually, you actually started with the pack approach in front of you, but you had to yeah, yeah, you go through all the teleporters. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got to go through that the teleporters, turn on like the power idea. on. Yeah, you ended up in the back with the other teleporters. It had a task that was simple. Like some of these, like some of these zombie maps, I don't know if someone's going to mention it. Well, Ascension was one of them where like the task was too crazy. Like Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Which one was the one with the bus? Oh, that was from Black Ops 2. That was yeah, the default Black Ops one. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was one of the where you had to take ones. the bus and shit like that. Like yeah, that you had to do just... something in the cornfield. And... Yeah, that was too crazy. Like, that yeah. one, um, you know, you just go to the teleporters. The teleporters weren't yeah. far. They're like a couple doors away from each other. Yep. And that's I, it. Once you I, unlock all of them, you could train the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, like, I loved that one when World at War came out, and they had that. And then when it came out uh, again for Black Ops, I, like, completely mastered it then. Did the uh, secret Easter eggs and stuff like that. That. that came out for World at War. Are you sure? Yeah, it was one of the original. It maps. was the original map for no, World at War. But then they, they they revamped it and brought it back into Black Ops. That's when I played it when they brought it back. Black Ops literally brought back all the maps from World at War. Yes, I know that. I'm just saying. I'm not sure if that was. Oh, okay. Yeah, they all. The first four was Notch. Uh, but Darius Kino, was not Kino. Notch. No, Darius was. The rice was the last one. That was the last map for War that War. Yes, but I'm that was at DLC. It. Yes, yeah, they so were all DLC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was the it. yeah, that was the last one. It was uh, what was the first one? I actually saw it here on this list. I think. Not sure if it's on here. Notch there in Toten. That yes. is the very first map they came out with because that was literally one little building that you were in. For Notch the was a that was a great map. Yeah, that because was it was original. like the random box was in the other room. You yeah. stood in that first room until you had enough to open up that door. Yeah, and then yeah. you got the second room. Then you got enough points to spin the random box. Hopefully, yeah. you got good shit. And yeah, exactly. Everything is right there. You yeah. go upstairs. Notch. That's it. Yeah, Notch was the first one. The rice was the last, and I believe the one that was the swamp. Uh, the Shinonuma. Shinonuma. That was, I think, the second or third. I can't oh, remember. That one the was DLC, one. right? That was the third one. Then Varukt was the second. Yes, Varukt was the second. Yes, that was another good one. But yeah, those were the original four. Then they brought them back in Black Ops, which is why I got so heavily invested in Black Ops because I wanted to play zombies again. And when I found out that Durice was coming back and it was, you know, graphics and everything was updated, you I was like, like, oh, but video game hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, I broke a table. Oh my god. Shout out to <laughs> Testosterone. <laughs> I broke a table. <laughs> so I oh played my. that and I Shout mastered that Josh's one. Josh's table. Uh, no, it's no longer there, so... <laughs> <laughs> you broke it. <laughs> and then they packaged all of them and Moon and Call of Duty Resurrection. Yes, yeah, so they put DLC. all that. Yep, that mm-hmm. was good. I remember so, that. Yeah, the rice is definitely my favorite. Um... The other one is actually, I don't know if you guys actually played it, but I loved it, and it, I spent a limited time on it, but I think I'll still say it as my number two, and I don't even know if I'm saying this right. Der Eisendrach. Hmm. Der Eisendrach. It was the one with the dragons uh, in the castle. I don't think I Ghost, played right? that one. No. I don't think I played that one. Which one was that one? No, Master, that, that was in Ghost? No, that was, I believe that was Black Ops 3. Oh no! Didn't no, play it. Didn't play it. Yeah, no. I didn't play that one either. Well, for me, it was an actual crazy ass map. I believe was it? I'm reading this right now. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I think it was called the Dragon Castle or something like that. Yeah, Der Eisendrach. I just said it. No, I didn't play that one. Yeah, it was one of those maps where they introduced a whole bunch of new weapons and stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. there was four variations of the bow that was on the map. Um. Yeah, it was a whole bunch of stuff. It was just really good the way they structured that one. And it always stood out to me because it was one of the ones I ended up playing more often than the other ones for Black Ops 3. Hmm. Like, it was very functional. If you ever get a chance to go back and play it, at least, like, by yourself, just try to get around and, like, you'll see it. It's actually really fun. Right. Cool. Was that a DLC map? I think so. Because I don't remember playing it. I remember I had Black Ops 3, but I don't remember playing that. I think the only one I played Black Ops 3 was uh, Mob of the Dead. Was that in Black Ooh. Ops 3? Yeah, that was Mob of the Dead, Origins, all that. That, that was wasn't all Black, Black Ops, Ops 3. 3. Yeah, it was. Or was that too? Mob of the Dead. I feel like Mob of the Dead was Black Ops 2. Well, let's go to the Google machine. <laughs> We're not getting sponsored by Google. 
<laughs> Shout out to I'm pretty sure I was three. Google no, no, no. It, it, because it, it I didn't play two. Yeah. I Mama didn't... the Dead was two. Oh, yes, it was? It was. Yes, oh, it was. Yes, Because I didn't play two that much. That's what that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You didn't play two know. that much. Black Ops Two? No. Because what turned it, for me, it turned guy, me off man. that they, they, they went so far into like no. the future with the story. Black Ops three, they went to Black Ops three, they went they went they Black, yeah, yeah. Black Ops three Black went Ops way four. Farther. Yeah. Black Ops Four should have never been created. Well, four was just nothing but multiplayer. That wasn't even a story. Four, yeah. they should. They said they should have just stopped it, bro. Yeah. The, the so right. anyway, yeah. If if you get a chance, go back. Uh, Der Eisendrach. I think it was a really good map. I think it was put together. You can really sit there and get a sense of the whole thing because it's so intricate. Like you could literally do circles at one part of the map you didn't even have to go to the other side like that's right. how big the map was Jesus right. Christ yeah man which which zombie map was it where they had the the iron giant running around that's origins origins yeah. yes. I I didn't like that one I hated that so, one yeah I didn't like that one so Black Ops 3 was they had their eyes in drunk. Yes, I know that. Yeah, now I'm looking at it. and that was a DLC. Yeah. That's why I never played it because I never bought any of the DLC for Black Ops 3 because I was very disappointed in it. Right. Black Ops 3 was... Uh, I was like, I just want to I want to touch myself and go to bed. I don't even want to play this. Anyway, what's your top you two? Touch yourself, but never mind. My top two was actually mentioned not too long ago and it kind of got me into the whole task thing. Because it had a nice, um, I just like the story. Mob of the Dead. Hmm. I can see was, that. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. That one was, uh, it's what was, what was walking around that you had to keep your eye that you had to keep your eyes Wasn't on? Like a security guard? Or it was the warden. The warden. Warden. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The warden would run around. And he uh, made sure he doesn't touch you in the weird places, but he was running around. Oh, my God. You're going to um, drop the soap today, boy. Yeah, because you got to play as Ray Liotta and some other people there. Shout out Ray Liotta. Shout that was out the reason Ray. why I played that map. Shout out Ray. <laughs> Shout out the Mac Daddy. King of Mob. Um, but yeah, Alcatraz, you get to take the fucking gondola everywhere. Yeah. The, yeah, gon- the gondola. Yeah, that was definitely fun. But that one, that was kind of like the first one I got into, like the whole role play shit of zombies. Yeah. Um, I'm into role play too. Sometimes. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Okay. And my second one would be <laughs> Kino. Kino Dirt. Toten? Kino Dirt and Toten. Yeah. Right. That one, for me, was the best one to run the train. Method in both ways. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Theater of the Dead. Yeah, yeah that was a good one. I'll that know. one was... Um, that one was I had really good memories in that one I think I had my high score in that one but it was pretty straightforward I mean you started off in that lobby and the teleporter was in the room behind you but it was yeah. locked you had to get it from the other side right yeah, yeah you had to go all the way through yeah so you had to go and the random box was in random places it wasn't didn't stay in one spot it didn't stay in one spot, so you had to go all the way around. And then when you got to the auditorium, that's where the teleporter was at, and it took you up to the theater room. Yeah, yeah. And then the pack a punch was up there. Yeah, that, so, I remember that. Ugh. Like if I didn't like the person I was playing with, I'll leave them. So <laughs> oh, fucking it, yeah. just go to the yeah, theater. That's room. how it was. If you had a partner and you were yeah, playing with randoms and they were just idiots or yeah, whatever, yeah, because if you, you was to all them. go up together. All the zombies will be waiting for you in the auditorium. Yeah, they would be right there under that 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 area between the lobby and the, uh, yeah. the seats. So once you spawn back, back to the forth, lobby, you'd have a horde right in front of you. Right. So that's how kind of like you'll start to train from there. Yeah. So once you got to like the pack a punch, all the zombies gathered around, you could basically start the train from there and just go all the way around. Yeah. Until somebody fucks it up, they hit the back <laughs> of the train, and then you guys collide and you're fucked. Yeah. But that was a, uh, that was a really good map. Yeah, I liked how they in, uh, they included the uh, what was it? It was like a dining room area to the right, and then yes. and then there was a small dressing room in between that right. and the back of the theater. Yeah, that one. If that you was wasn't dope. if you wasn't careful, you could get yeah. caught up in oh, that dressing room in area. Yeah. yeah, you get trapped every because time. they come both ways. Like mm-hmm. they could come around or the other yeah, way. They'd come from the theater or in that room, right? Right behind you. Right. So screwed, that yeah. one was a dangerous room. That was a dangerous spot. You didn't want to get caught in. But I also like the east. What well, it was not really Easter eggs, but when you're teleporting back from the pack-a-punch 
you'll go into like those random rooms they teleport you in. Oh, and you, you can was collect only the there. items. Yeah, yeah you, you was only there the for items. a little bit. So you're running around looking for random yeah. shit to pick up. <laughs> you get I the, still the don't film. know. You get the film and then you oh, yeah. get to and the pack a punch. You can put the film there yeah, yeah. and it plays a little film. Yeah. It plays like you make like a movie or some shit yeah. there. That was definitely dope. But uh, yeah, that one was dope. And then you get to touch the rocks. The and then the music starts playing when you oh, touch yeah, all three yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. Can we yeah. talk about that for a second? How fucking great those songs were. Oh, that, my, fa- my yeah. favorite is Paradolio by Elena Segment. Elena, yes. Uh, uh, I, I have that on my phone. I think 115 is my favorite. 115 was the one Kino was. A, yeah, that was yeah, Kino. Yeah, was yeah Kino. that was dope. Yeah, that was definitely dope too. That was nice. And who knows what the future is going to be? Well, if they keep Avengers sevenfold, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> well, I know that this next one, Cold War Zombies, is a thing. Yeah, and from the trailer, dog. from the trailer, I pooped a little bit just watching that. That looks terrifying. <laughs> well, the zombies. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't mean, watch the trailer yet. I'm just gonna buy it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it my best because I've been slacking on Call of Duty a lot. Like. <laughs> I haven't been taking it serious, and I think it's gonna change from now, yo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back into Call of Duty. I'm gonna drop Rocket wow. League. I'm gonna drop all that other shit. Just I'll just cloud. tell mine because mine, mine has already been spoken. Mine are Darius and Kino. I just love those two maps. I had my best games on those two maps, and I just had fun. But um, you know, the funny part is what you're saying right there, Isaiah. It's happening to this guy. Before we got him playing. Um, <laughs> watch Mod- uh, Modern Warfare with Anthony and I he wasn't playing Call of Duty whatsoever well I was the same way yeah do you remember that like I took after um, I think it was Black Ops 3 I was done because it went 3 and then Ghost right Josh no I think Ghost was before Ghost 3 was, 3 yeah, came out three. and then I think it was 4 Advanced Warfare yeah I think it was Advanced Warfare Black Ops 4 and then um, well, I didn't play other one, I didn't play Ghosts like I loved Black Ops it was my favorite Black Ops 2 I was excited for I played the Modern Warfare in between never played Ghosts and then I went Ghosts wasn't a Black Ops was it? no yes it no, was no. It, it was like Black Ops oh, it was, yeah, it was, it was its, its own, own storyline yeah it was on story. Yeah, they but like, flopped with that. I didn't yeah. play that. I played uh, COD th- Black Ops 3. I was very disappointed. And then that was it. I didn't play Advanced Warfare. I didn't play uh, Infinite or whatever the fuck it was. It was like... Infinite was yeah. Power Rangers. There was like a good six years of just... Or five years of just... Nah, I'm not fucking with the Black yeah. Ops 4. I didn't fuck with. And then Joey and Eric were playing Modern Warfare for the better part of the year. And Joey was like, you gotta play, you gotta play, you gotta play. I'm like, get fucked. I'm all about Mortal Kombat right now. And I finally broke down. And now I'm Mortal obsessed. Kombat. No, I'm so, oh yeah, I can't wait for that new DLC. Uh, the Mortal Kombat I was into was Mortal Kombat X. I think I was like a thousand or two thousand out of the world with Jason. Damn. Yeah, like I was hyped on that game in high school. That was my shit when Jace, uh, Jason got put out as DLC. I was I was a problem. And what was the <laughs> what was the Warlord guy? Shinnok? No, the other one, the Aztec dude. Oh, Kodo Khan. Yeah, Kodo Khan. That was before Jason came out. I was Kodo Khan, and I was raping people with that. I could see you cosplaying as Kodo Khan, too. Kodo Khan was the shit. You like, his fatalities for, for me was crazy. Like, ripping his heart out and just smashing that shit over his head. Like, Did you play any of MK11? Because he's back for MK11. I don't like MK11. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just played it, and I played, like, a few matches and I was like it's not the same but it was something that changed there but MKX was the shit for me and Jason he just had that long chain where it was like he did the the low kick and then the high with yeah. the sword and then he'll bounce off the floor and then you could do it like three times in a row punch 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 and then go into the um with the special move yeah yeah his shit was fucking crazy like when mm. Jason came out it was wow. really a problem well mm. uh I think We've exhausted our point with the COD maps. I think so, too. I mean, there's a lot of COD maps that were great. Yeah, it's just I mean, our, these are our favorites. Yeah, I mean, just off the top of my um, head, I know, like, Jungle. We didn't even t- mention Nuketown or Shipment. Oh, that was a question. Nuketown or Rust? Rust. Rust? Rust. Yeah. Rust? Yeah. You're talking that old. You're talking about, well, me, the, I'm the old school, so definitely The Rust. reason I say hold that. Hold on, hold on. So, Rust, Rust. I liked Nuketown. Me too. 
The reason I say Rust over Nuketown. He never really played Modern Warfare 2. That's why. No, but I have played it with this. With, now it's been re released for wait, this. Wait, so I played wait, a lot. Wait, wait, hold on. The reason I say Rust over Nuketown is because they had to change Nuketown at least three different fucking times. No, they didn't. No, they just changed the aesthetics. They the just, yeah, they just the maps the stayed the same. What I'm saying is Rust stayed the same. Because they didn't bring it back. They did bring it back. Wait, they did, right? No, they brought they they uh, in the remaster. They it's remastered. Still there. It's still oh there. well, yeah, because it's the remaster. Yeah, but it, what Joey's referring to is they had Nuketown. Then they had Nuketown 2025. Yeah, they and just. And then they had Nuketown. But see, that's the thing, though. Is. They exhausted that bitch. No, it was the they same just put map. A Nuketown they in the new game. That bitch. No, because they changed Nuketown for one of the zombies versions. Mm -hmm. Yes, when it had one of the scariest fucking Easter eggs on the planet. They changed that. They 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 exhausted that bitch to the point. Because right. people loved it. It was everybody loved Newtown. Yeah, they made yeah, that shit. Zombies map, I'm, I'm 2025, them, like, Newtown. Like 2025 sucked. It, it wasn't the best, but the original Newtown was great. But when they did do the re-release and they put that the uh, the mannequins in there. That scared the shit out of me. Did you ever do that Easter egg? Was it that you shoot all the mannequin heads? If you shoot all, if you shoot all the heads, I think it was un, in under forty five seconds. Yes, they all start chasing you. Do you ever see that that the the, I think the, I, the I, weeping I angels from Doctor Who? No, they're basically uh, an alien, but they take the form of a of a, of a statue. Like an uh, it looks like an angel, angel statue. And if you look away, that's the only time it can move. And if you're looking at it, it has to freeze. It cannot. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. the idea is so like there's like creepy shit. Like the lights like swing off and then come back on. It's changed positions, move yeah, closer. I see videos of it, but I never got. They to do it. did that with the mannequins on this map, and it was no. They chase you once you shoot all the heads. Once you they shoot the heads, you. right? But yeah, they chase you. But when you look at them, they stop. No, yeah. they didn't. That's no, how you knew you were being chased. No, there was one of them where they chased. didn't stop. Like, there was one oh, where they I'd, didn't stop. After yeah. You, yeah. But initially, the, if you turned around, they would move closer to you. Yeah. Just like the Weeping Angels. Oh, I don't it wasn't, remember that. Yeah. I remember you shooting it, and then when you turn around, you'll hear like some kind of a noise or a laugh or right. something. And then the next thing you know, they're all flooding at you like it's zombies. No, the t second you turn around, they should have frozen. Then... No, they chased after me, and I screamed like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's scary shit, because you can't defend yourself. I think it was like, was the first one? I think it was the first one. Yeah, that was the original. The first the original, original one. Yeah. Might have been. I thought it was the second one. No, that was, the, that was the original. But Rust is a very good map. You can't shit on Rust. But like, uh, Nuketown was a great map. Jungle was a good map from Black Ops. Oh, Convoy was, was a good yeah. one. I liked Hydro. Stadium was a great map. Mm. Mm. I had a love hate relationship. Stadium, with Stadium. reminds me of Piccadilly Square, uh, Square for Piccadilly Fuck Circle. Fuck that map. No, no, no. You're talking about the one Piccadilly. Oh my god. No, no. The, you're talking about the other one you hate. No, or do you hate the them both? British no, bus. I just hate Piccadilly. Yeah. Well, the two buses. Yeah. Or the yeah, 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 yeah. With well, the two buses. Because I know you also. Fuck that map. You also hate the other map in Britain, where it has the straight sight along the one end and it has the courtyard in the middle. It's, the one that just came out. No, I don't know if it just came out, but I know that on the one side it has a bus, and yeah, that's the one that in the courtyard with the flowers in the middle of it. Right, right, right. That just came out. That's the, I didn't well, know that the one that I think it's, it's the been out DLC for, a few for, for the few months, but it's the new game. Yeah, but I hate Piccadilly. Yeah, that's so okay. bad, man. I didn't have a problem with Piccadilly, but Piccadilly and Stadium to me are very similar, just the way they're laid out, and. Um, just like the you know you're fighting on scaffolding and shit like that to me they're very similar yeah well uh i know this week as everybody knows the new games coming out we have uh black ops cold war coming out this week that's basically right. everyone crack, crack is going to be is going to be buying it crack open a cold war <laughs> but uh, it was an awkward silence because not everyone is Josh, actually buying but it. but why aren't you buying it? Look, what we need, if anybody's listening, by the time this comes out on Wednesday, we need to go fund me for Josh to buy this fucking game. <laughs> I don't <laughs> need to go fund me. Is that what it is? I'm just choosing not to buy it. I'm sorry. I like Modern he Warfare the way it is right he now. He hasn't bought Modern Warfare. The He's only way we play nothing. Modern Warfare is just Warzone with him. That's it's it. It's free. Yeah. You got yes. the free shit. Exactly. And we'll, we'll be able to play the zombies with him. And I invited zombies. you the other night, you faggot, and nobody joined. <laughs> uh, I did not catch that. No, yeah, you were on. I think I, with him, because he was on at the same time. 
Well, I, if and it was I invited the other night, you like four or five times, I and then you guys disappeared. That. I swear to God, suck my mm, fuck. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Does this work? No. <laughs> uh, but so next week we're going to review this game and pick apart what we like, what we dislike. Josh, why are you? We need an answer, buddy. What's going on? Why are you not buying it? Because I just got into Warfare. What the hell? I don't feel like changing to a new game already. Well, dude, do, do you I'm actually know, Wait, hold on. Warfare. Do you understand they said with this game is that you can transfer all your content into this new game? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So yeah. this is just a a bite off a war of Modern Warfare? No, all the all the Warzone shit that you get that you have now. Can be transferred into Cold the new, War, the, the Cold War game. What do you mean? What all shit? Like, like um, stats? Uh, They're not, using the same guns? Not stats. It's it's more of um, the uh, right? operators. Uh, anything you buy can be transferred over into it because I know. Also, like, so if I bought a like a ghost, a skin for ghost, yeah, the operator will be transferred into Cold War. Okay, that makes sense. So because- Cold War is not like a whole different. No, it no. is, but it's just timeline. It's not. If it was, they wouldn't be promoting it the, in Modern War. Hold on, the story is the story is definitely going to be different. It's yeah. it's a sequel to it's a direct sequel to the original Black Ops, but they're saying for Warzone stuff like you know character operators and oh, guns and shit. Okay. That stuff you could be transferred. So you could use the same guy in both games, okay. essentially. Because I can't. I, I mean, this is news to me from what I'm gathering from Joey. Because it makes sense. You spend a lot of money on on. Yeah, I don't feel like starting over again. Not only that, but like this Modern Warfare was the first game. Like, there's a different. They like, should this, continue with the Warzone thing. Yeah. The store is updated every night or every day of just new shit. And if you're someone who just likes to spend money, and you drop a hundred or two hundred bucks on just all these different operator skins. <laughs> And yeah, guns not and for stuff me, yeah. for a game that all of a sudden the game goes dead because a new one came out. What the fuck? But if they let you transfer all that stuff over and continue using it, I have no problem with that. I to still me, that's play smart. as the Gilly, the Gilly Sue guy, Grinch. I still that's that's my operator from the beginning. <laughs> Don't I, change it. I'm not buying skins. I'm not buying operators. I like I, I played as everyone, but I love. Uh, I'm an old school. I like Ghost. Ghost has always been my favorite. Yeah. I always wanted to get. Um, well, I, I've been playing Woods. as. Uh, oh, I, I play mostly as Price, primarily. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I do play as Woods every once in a while. Well, I'm excited. I hope they drop a skin for Mason because I love Mason was my favorite character yeah. from Black Ops. But who knows? Yeah, we'll see. Hudson with the glasses. Yeah. I think Black Ops One had the best. Fuck that! I won't play as JFK. <laughs> Black Ops One had the best storyline. <laughs> Well, yeah. If you played as JFK, I would always be going for Which a Which one was the one where Reznov was breaking you out of prison? Black Ops. Blops. Yeah, Black yeah Ops. that's Blops. Black Ops, the first one, right? Yeah, that was Blops. Right? Blops. Where he was like, get the keys. And then everybody was Yeah, running. that was the original Black Ops. Yeah. That, shit, that, that was my favorite. Um, yeah. It was and it turned game. out that he was a, uh, a ghost. Like, he really wasn't there. Correct. Like, after that... Fucking spoilers. Mission, yeah, after that mission where... Um, Reznov, he just leaves him. He says, "No, he no, it's where, know, freedom for you." You know, yeah. After a, after you after break that, out of prison, it's just all it's in him his mentally head. just imagining Reznov there, right, yeah. like he's not really he's there. <laughs> the, he's there the rest of the game, but he's not really there. And that was, <laughs> he dies at that moment, right. but Mason keeps Living. like he sees him at random Sorry moments throughout the story. Yeah. And Reznov's played by the great Gary Oldman. <clears throat> and like of all the people to die in that game, other than Reznov, he had a character played by Ice Cube. He dies. Oh, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, if Wood, I forget who plays Woods, <coughs> but Woods lived. I yeah. just suppose it was James Woods that played Woods, but whatever. What? <laughs> what would that matter? It doesn't. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, so next week we're going to be reviewing Call of Duty uh, Cold War First Impressions, mm-hmm. as well as any other games that we might have been playing. Um, shout out, um, shout out GoFundMe for Josh. Oh my God. We're going to, you know, <laughs> we're going to set up a GoFundMe. I into me. Modern Warfare. Leave me alone. I don't so feel I like question. transferring We're going to put your cash out. app. Cash app. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I I won't, we Josh won't badger you. Josh, too sexy. Cash app him. <laughs> we won't ba- badger you. If you buy Modern Warfare. Huh? Why would he do that? It's oh, like you didn't up. even buy Modern Warfare? No, no I only have the free So what the fuck? No, because I'll, <laughs> I'll... Look, I'll keep continuing playing Modern Warfare because I love the multiplayer of Modern Warfare. Mm-hmm. So if you buy Modern Warfare, we'll stop badgering you. Fuck that. I'm going balls deep into Cold War. 
How much so you're is, not going that far. How much is Modern Warfare now? <laughs> they still kept Modern Warfare at 60 bucks. I hope not. I don't think so. I think with this week, there's a sale on it. There's a sale. I'm not going there's to buy a, a game. It's already so out. Cold War is out. I mean, I might cave. Your inner Jewish person might, can hear that. There's a sale. I might cave and just get Cold War. I don't know yet. Oh, are you well, like that? Are you... Um, well, it's already cheap? pre-downloaded into my, my system, so... Oh, you bought the pre-order. Yeah, so I bought I. I bought the big big Cause, bubble. Cause you're cause you're a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. No, I'll buy the pre-order too. That's you know what? Insane. I'm gonna I'm gonna join your boat. I'm gonna buy the pre-order when I get home. Yeah. yeah I did that. That. At, at that point, you get woods. From I don't Warfare. understand the whole big bundle shit because when I actually start playing the game, I don't see the shit I paid extra for. I know it's like credits, like they give you like some type of credits. But well, besides I think, that, well, this one the bundle is you jump twenty. T- you already you already set oh, up the for the tears. battle pass. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, fuck. You're right. You're paying the you're paying the extra dollar, the extra twenty bucks for the battle pass. Essentially, on, which one did you buy? You bought the biggest one. I bought the biggest one. Yeah, uh, ninety dollars. Ninety bucks. Yeah. And what which it makes sense. You're saving a little money too. Yeah, what does it, bring? it, it, it get, uh, gives you battle pass. You got Woods battle as an pass. operator. Oh, you uh, got Woods as an operator? Yeah, okay. for Modern Warfare. Okay, yeah, yeah. You get Woods as an operator for Modern Warfare. You get. Oh, you don't get them for Cold War? No, no you get them for Cold you'll War. You get them for both. Remember, whatever. Oh, because it's Warzone. Yeah, All whatever right, bad, transfers. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. Uh, Warzone transfer, transfers into this game also. I um, think there's a gun bundle. A land, no, it's like, was it? Yeah. Land, air, and sea, where it each comes with a, with a gun. Oh, yeah? Or two guns that are Yeah, and you also skins. get, I think, 20 to 30 tiers. Oh, they're, they're not of the first, gun guns. Uh, they're just skins. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if they're blueprints or well, if they're just skins. Let's go to the Google machine. But I do know is... Because if they're guns... Yeah. What then, is the... Um, but I, I do know that the T... You get a 20... You're Basically, you're buying the Battle Pass as part of the as part of the bundle, which to me makes sense because you, you're paying for the Battle Pass anyway if you're going to play the multiplayer. So if you're going to pay for the Battle Pass, why make it a separate purchase? Put it all in one purchase. You get the extra skins and guns or whatever the fuck it is, and you're still paying for the stuff anyway. Otherwise, you would pay for it separate and you have so to pay taxes. Okay, so for the Call of Duty Black Ops uh, Cold War Ultimate edition ultimate uh you get a cross-gen bundle of black ops warzone game includes xbox one xbox series x version so you launches, paying for land the crossover seated, hold on land seed and air pack you get three operator skins three vehicle skins three weapon blueprints a battle pass bundle 20 tier skip and the confrontation pack confrontation so basically it's the game which is 60 and nine different skins for three different things the 20 tier skip which basically is ten dollars anyway and then another pack so you're getting probably four different packs and the battle pass for 30 bucks yeah the the only thing i'm not sure is the cross gen thing is, what so okay, mean? so if you bought it for if you have an Xbox One, and you go buy an Xbox Series X, you don't have to rebuy the game. Oh, oh. okay, okay, okay. It's now the same thing you're with making PS4. sense. Now you're making it's it's the same thing with PS4. If, if I now. if I go buy the PS5 right now, I could just download the game. So who's buying both? People who don't buy the ultimate I'm package. Both. No, I'm not buying either. You're not gonna buy the PS5. I'm not buying a PS5, and I ain't buying an Xbox One X series. Bullshit. Nope. Why not? I don't need to. I'm I, gonna I, wait until uh, the, all the bugs get okay. It took out me. First. Okay, nah, I'm gonna get both because see, they're gonna get hammered out while I have them. So. See, I I got. I need the, I need God of War. I need God of War. I need. The I think exclusives. that's what I'm gonna wait for. I think that's why I don't want to buy them yet because I want to see what they're gonna offer for God of War. I need the exclusives, man. I'm tired of the, well. Xbox is more competitive but I'm tired of not having these exclusives man like I want to play Spider-Man I want to play God of War fuck Halo they could take it back I don't give a fuck <laughs> come on see I bought I bought my Xbox years ago and I never needed to upgrade to the slim version or whatever as soon as the Xbox oh, we'll talk about something one, after, after we get off of this but yeah, that's yeah cause the on. first version is always like that big bulky one but, but, and then they I start coming out with the slimmer ones I bought mine when it, hold on hold on I bought mine when it still had the connects so I still Let's that save this for another podcast. 
How about no? Comparing the Xbox and the new stuff. Oh, well, well when we get it. We can't really compare it if we don't have it. Okay, Again, okay, guys, okay, on the GoFundMe, okay, 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 Josh, okay. Don't, don't, don't we could get, we'll <laughs> get him the Cold War and one of the new systems. Hold on, I got an idea. I got an idea. I'm going to speak right now to Microsoft. Microsoft, if you're out there and you're listening to us, we need an Xbox um, Series X, is that what it's called? I guess. Yes. We need one for educational purposes so we can really understand and compare. We need one for Josh. We need to understand and compare so we can make a proper well, no, judgment. If hold we're going to get anything He's a for part Josh. of the LGBTQ Wait, hold community. Hold what? On. <laughs> hold on. If we're going to get anything for what? Josh, <laughs> let's call Verizon and get him a better, better internet connection. Ooh, uh, who, who you got now? I don't know. The old people Verizon upstairs, their internet. McDonald's um, across the street. <laughs> so, I have, wait, we'll I fit. Got, oh, hold I got, on. Okay. We, we have, you have, okay, you have five seconds. And let me just speak to PlayStation now so they can say, PlayStation, if you're out there hearing. Sony. Oh, Sony, you're right. Sony. Sony. If you're out there and you're listening to our podcast. Sega. Nikon Goy Yong Jung. Oh, my God. <laughs> there goes their fucking <laughs> podcast. <laughs> oh, my God. So, you're gonna so have next week. Shout out Sony, yo. Next week, we're going to be talking about the, the review of Cold War. Uh, so, thank you guys. I'll see you guys next weekend. Uh, I know in a couple weeks we are having a video coming out Thanksgiving. We're going to be start filming that this week. Oh, hold no, on. Hold no, no. Just no. give me this. Give me this. I'm playing. Give it to him. Give it to Just him. Give, me the give it to him. Ready? Shh, shh, here we go. Shut up. Pure institution. No, no, oh, could that, no. Could that die? Mute, mute him. Mute wait, wait, him to save this podcast right now. Oh, please send us a PlayStation. <laughs> so... I'm the only one talking right now. Good night, everybody. Thank you for listening to us, and we'll catch you on next week's podcast. I did to myself if I had no explanation.